here presenting experiences, which is the Smart Track product powered by Smart Cosmos. Um, and what's great about it is that NFC uh, can be conspicuously implanted or embedded into a product without any visual changes, without really uh, changing the style or, the, or the, uh, the product itself. As you can see here, the NFC is embedded neatly um, into the tongue of the shoe. Um, and what it allows us to do is really create this brand messaging and, and a conversation with the consumer in a very seamless way. Um, the consumer can go into the store, interact with the product to find out information about it, review specific things that they may need in the store itself during the purchasing decision. But then also once the, pur the purchase is made, the consumer walks home with the item, takes the shoe back before a run or whenever they can interact with it. And a consumer experience, in this case, it's an exclusive content reel that Adidas has produced, is then sent to the, to the user. What's great is it could be locked down to that specific user, um, and so the content appears exclusive because if that link is shared with anybody, they won't be able to look at it. Um, and the brand on the backside also has all of the analytics and metrics that go with it, so they can see where the interactions are happening at what time of day, what technology uh, people are using, what kind of phones they have. Um, and again, all of that happens kind of behind the scenes in, in real time to give the brand extra visibility um, and bring loyalty, basically brand loyalty, by building that conversation with the user. So the way the Experiences Engine works, it's really threefold. So what we're doing is we're taking in real-time data. Um, so pro the product itself has metadata that's associated with it that's stored within Smart Cosmos, and that could be anything from size, color, style, um, and we can ingest that in real time into the mobile framework and to say, if this, then that. If it's a black shoe, size 18, size 12, whatever it is, show me this experience. And so we can create a framework and assign that to millions of different objects and the dynamic experience will be rendered in real time without having to create and you know, multiply that experience many times over. Uh, the other two things that we take into consideration are real time factors, such as weather, time of day, location, and we can change the experience dynamically based on that. Um, and then finally, based on the user. So if you as a user have interacted once or twice, uh, or we've never seen you before, the experience can change every single time. And it could even change with the exact same product with different users. So if you tap a product or I tap a product, we can see completely different experiences um, based on that. So that's really kind of the, the power of the, uh, of the platform. And on the analytics side, again, I think that's something not to be understated. Is traditionally, you have a lot of good metrics as far as distribution, supply chain management, maybe even kind of shop floor intelligence. But as far as a product that's already been purchased and leaves the store, this is kind of a new level of, uh, of analytics that now brands can see and see how people are interacting with their items and where they're interacting with their items.